Hello all, Paul Play Squad Gaming here, and this is our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guard series. Built by the Charlians and hidden within Dravania, the Great Google Library is a level 59 dungeon which is part of the main story quest line and is featured during the quest Forbidden Knowledge. The quest giver is Matoya in Matoya's Cave. Make sure to put your reading glasses on for this one, so without further ado, let's dive into the guard. We start this duty by making our way forward into the first room, where we are met by two Maganyora ads. Quickly kill these, be mindful of a frontal cone AoE that can also poison anyone here. Once cleared, the bookcase behind will slide open and allow us through. In this next area, you will be met with ethereal stairs, allowing us to proceed to each platform. Kill the ads on each platform, which will allow us to proceed to the next. There are a few frontal cone AoEs and point blank AoEs to watch out for, but nothing too challenging. Once to the other side of this large room, head through the bookcase and kill the Marilith and surrounding ads. If you are interested in the lore of the game, then make sure to read the tomes dotted throughout the duty. Once this room is clear, head through towards boss fight number one. The Demon Tome is our first boss, and it's very similar to the Demon Wall in Amdapur Keep. Start this fight as normal, with the tank gaining enmity of the boss and the party dealing damage. After a short while, the tome will darken the centre area of the platform and then the outer edges of the platform. Avoid these AoE patterns by moving outwards for the central column and centrally for the outer columns. Being hit by either of these AoE patterns will inflict the player with heavy, making it harder to avoid this and other mechanics, as well as dealing some damage. When the outer AoE pattern is being cast, the demon tome will also target a random party member with Dark Blizzard 3. Avoid this single target AoE as necessary. After a few rounds of this, the Demon Tome will cast Repel and knock all players backwards. This is in preparation for Disclosure. The party now needs to run down the side of the book and to the other side of the platform. At the end of Disclosure, the Demon Tome will turn and knock back anyone too close. The fight will now continue as before. At around 40% health, the Demon Tome will cast Words of Winter, turning the ground to ice and granting everyone the Thin Ice debuff. Pressing movement in any direction will now force you to slide a set amount of yarms uncontrollably in that direction. After this, you will get repelled again and the tone will use disclosure and words of winter together. We now need to aim ourselves correctly to slide around the outer edge of the tome and deal the remaining damage to end the fight. You can slide off the edges here as the barriers have a gap directly to the sides of the demon tome. Kill the tome, pick up your loot and proceed. You will come across new ad types in this area. The span duels have a point blank AoE, avoid as necessary and page 64 will tether a random party member and after a short while blast them. Other party members should avoid standing in the tether to avoid the excess damage. Keep clearing the ads through these halls, prioritising the page 64s. This will open the passageway to allow you into the next room. Clear this room and head through the newly opened corridor. Clear these halls and kill the final page 64 in the natural history room. Receive through the bookcase doorway and towards the second boss. Vibloss is our second boss. Start this fight as normal with the tank gaining enmity and the party dealing damage as usual. After a short while, the boss will target a random party member with head down. This frontal column AoE will follow a player and is uninterruptible. Using damage reduction cooldowns can help here. It will also stun the target on impact. All other party members should avoid the frontal column AoE as they will be damaged too. At around 75% health, Vibloss will jump to the centre of the room and become invulnerable to damage. He will summon two page 64 book ads that need to be killed as quickly as possible. Once they are killed, they will drop an orb that tethered to the player who dealt the killing blow. This orb will now need to be directed in such a way that it hits Biblos, knocking him off this book and making him vulnerable to damage once again. Watch out for the death rays from page 64 ads also, as it deals moderate damage. The fight will now repeat these mechanics already mentioned. However, Biblos will spawn air clouds when he used Gale Cut. We need to avoid these clouds as they deal damage and have a small knockback. We also need to ensure that we can direct the orbs from the page 64 ads around the clouds, as they will cancel out the orb and we will have to kill more page 64 ads to summon more orbs. After each orb phase, Biblos will add a stack of vulnerability to the party, acting as a soft enrage in the form of Bone Shaker. This can, however, mostly be ignored. Repeat these mechanics until Biblos is down. Pick up your loot and proceed. Clear the ads on the stairway down to the School of the Fantastics and head towards the singular Skatine waiting for us. This will use Void Call and summon two Vodariga Biblioclast ads for us to clear. Watch out for a circular AoE from the Vodariga. Kill the Logos to open the gate and then clear the next set of ads. Be mindful of a frontal column AoE from the Speed Reader that can petrify you. Avoid or interrupt to avoid this. Pick up the loot from the Treasure Coffer and head down the stairs. Once these ads are clear, enjoy the short cutscene.
The ever-living Bibliotap is our final boss. Start this fight as normal with the tank gaining enmity of the boss and the party dealing damage as usual. After a short while, the Bibliotap will mark two players with an orange hit marker. These players need to spread out as they will be targeted with a shadow ball that is left behind on impact. This will pulse every so often and inflict everyone stood within melee range of the ball with a stack of vulnerability, so avoiding this is key. At around 80% health, the Bibliotap will recenter and start to cast Void Call. The platforms around the outer edge of the room will illuminate with a singular light per platform. This indicates that one player needs to run through the light to lock the platform. All platforms need to be locked to avoid summoning of more ads. Continue the fight as before, avoiding the purple spark balls and placing them as to avoid the platforms later in the fight. At around 50% health, the second void call will happen. This time, each platform has two lights on it, indicating that two party members need to stand on each platform to lock it. You will notice that two platforms have zero lights on, making it easier to reach all the platforms. After this void call phase, the boss will use deep darkness. This donut AoE needs to be avoided by heading centrally, and after this pops, we need to head towards the outer edges to avoid magic burst. This huge centrally placed point blank AoE. Repeat the earlier stated mechanics as before, and at around 15% health, the Bibliotap will use void call round 3. The platforms have three lights, so three players need to stand on each platform. It is recommended for the DPS players and healer to reach each platform. You can, however, try to end the fight before the cast goes off, saving you time. However, be mindful if you don't complete this in time, you will have multiple ads to deal with. Keep up the damage and kill the Bibliotap. And there you have it. The Great Goober Library is complete. Remember to commemorate the player you believe deserves it most and pick up your loot. We give this trial a difficulty rating 2 out of 5 swords, this easy to navigate duty and the simplistic boss fight shouldn't prove difficult for any adventurer. The special loot for this trial includes the Charlian Weaponry, our level 148, the Charlian Equipment and Jewelry, our level 148, the Page 63 Minion, the Ink Long Dry Orchestrian Roll and the Biblos Card. Remember to like, comment, and if you haven't already, click to subscribe. Up next is the Ethereum Chemical Research Facility. We are 4Player Squad Gaming. Thanks for watching.